Hi, I'm Charla with Freezer Meals 101. Welcome to this week's What's for Dinner. I'm actually a few days late getting this up to you, so by the time I get this edited, it's going to be Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day if you're watching this on Mother's Day. Um, I'm actually filming it on Saturday, the day before Mother's Day, but you know, I know I'm probably not going to get it up to you today. I do have a new video that I filmed this week on um, breakfast freezer meals and it's got some really great recipes in there and I actually have been enjoying the uh, buttermilk waffles, little mini heart shaped buttermilk waffles that have been really fun and some of the uh, breakfast things in there I'm going to be able to enjoy tomorrow morning for my Mother's Day breakfast which I guess if you're watching this Sunday that means that was today. <laughs> anyway. Uh, okay, so this week we did eat a lot of variety and um, it, it worked out really well as far as some of the new freezer meals that we tried. Now there was one that we weren't so keen on, so I'll just be honest and say that you probably don't want to make that one. <laughs> but uh, okay, so what we made this week is we made the taco tater top casserole and that one was from our last big freezer meal session. And that one, uh, the last time I made it, I made it in the crock pot with a crock pot liner and it worked out okay, but the tater tots kind of like became mush and so the flavors were there, but the texture wasn't. So this time I tried baking it in the oven and it was much better. The tater tots got crispy, they maintained their shape for the most part and um, so then we got like the texture plus the flavor. So for that, going forward, if we make the taco tater tot casserole again for freezer meals, we will definitely be cooking it only in the oven. Uh, then we made a veggie stir fry, it's just really simple. So it was like freezer bag right to the skillet and then served on rice, doesn't get much easier than that. Um, we did keto, chicken concoction. I don't know what to call it because it was kind of an invention and that's the one that was like ugh. so uh, <laughs> don't make that one. That one's in my keto video but you don't need to go look at it because I don't want you to make it. Um, the flavors were okay. I didn't eat it myself because I have a broccoli allergy so it had broccoli and chicken and a bunch of vegetables and things. I don't even remember what the sauce was really or what the seasonings were, but it was runny. And I think the reason it was runny is because it had mushrooms in it. And when mushrooms cook, they let off quite a bit of moisture. And so I think I didn't account for that when I made the recipe. And it was just a throw together invention. They usually work out really well. This one did not. So I wouldn't recommend that one unless you add something to it to soak up the moisture or you omit the mushrooms or whatever. It just was like not great. It wasn't a complete fail, but it wasn't great. So we won't be making that one again. Um, the other thing we had that was amazing, but it's like it's always good, but we did bring it up a notch this time, was the barbecue shredded chicken. That is like super, 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 super easy freezer meal. I think that one's in the five ingredient freezer meals video, so I'll link that in the description below. Um, that one, the, re the way that we kicked it up a little this time was we always make a garlic mayo with it, which we did, um, but we added coleslaw and actually put the coleslaw into the buns and it just made it like take, taste like restaurant food that you would eat in the summer on a patio. It's just amazing. So yeah, that's definitely a keeper, but again, we make that all the time. So, um, and then we did the ham and potato casserole, again, freezer meal. Um, we just dump it into a casserole dish, bake it in the oven, super easy. Some of the kids like to put ketchup or hot sauce on it. Um, yeah, it's just simple. So that was our week for meals. And then of course, we've been snacking on all of those breakfast meals that I made the other day. So this time we're going to try the taco tater tot casserole in the oven rather than in the crock pot. I put it in a 9x13 um, glass baking dish and I sprayed it first and I'm going to do it uncovered because then I think the tater tots will crisp up. This is out of the oven and 
Looks like it worked a lot better. We've got those crispy tater tots and they held their shape. So there you have it, taco tater tot casserole. This is just that really simple stir fry. Stir fry bags are super easy to throw together and then they just fry up so quickly. So this one is just a veggie one and it'll just take me a couple of minutes to get that warmed up and then I can scoop it over rice and it will be ready. So easy veggie stir fry over rice. This is that um, chicken meal that I made when I was doing the keto meals for my husband, but this one I made big enough for the whole family and then we'll just top it with the cheese, put it in the casserole dish and that will be dinner tonight. I think this is gonna be great because it's got so many veggies in there and the chicken, so it's pretty much an all-in-one dish. I've just dumped the main freezer bag into this casserole dish. I've decided that I'm gonna actually put the cheese on at near the end, so I'm going to put the lid on this and um, put it in the oven, and then when it's about 10 minutes away from being done, I will add the cheese to the top, and then it will be ready to go. Now I'm just going to top it with that bag of cheese. It's mozzarella and parmesan. And then I will pop it back in the oven and get it done. So today I actually took out two of the shredded barbecue chickens because um, all of our kids are gonna be home at supper time and one of our daughter's boyfriends is coming for supper as well. So I just would rather have too much than too little. So I'm putting both of those in the crock pot and they will be ready to shred and put on buns later. Okay, so we've got our two bags of shredded barbecue chicken in the slow cooker, and I will show it to you when it's done. We're of course gonna serve it with that awesome garlic mayo homemade um, on buns, and the side of coleslaw is what I'm thinking. I find the mix and masher is the fastest and easiest way to shred chicken or pork in the crock pot. For the coleslaw, I just used a bag of shredded cabbage and added a really simple homemade dressing. And we were able to put that along with the garlic mayo on top of the buns and it made such a delicious meal. Highly recommend. This ham and potato casserole is super easy to make on our freezer meal days, and it's even easier to just take it from the bag, dump it into a casserole dish, plop that into the oven, and bake it. Uh, some of the kids like to have salsa or um, hot sauce on theirs, but it's just a super simple meal. Thanks for joining me today for another edition of What's for Dinner. Join me again next week when I share some more of our freezer meals transformed into supper. Have a great week and happy cooking.